Hi, I want to do a real quick demo here of the print and cut and make the cut version 3 beta. The first thing we want to do is we want to go up here to the new button for pixel trace and pick out our graphic. I have one from Lettering Delight's Mulberry Lane collection here that I like. I'm going to open that. You see it in the window there. I'm going to turn my threshold all the way up to almost as high as it will go, 254. 255 is the highest. I'm going to apply the changes. I'm going to make sure that that outer line is all the way captured, and it is. So I'm going to set images te texture and import. Then I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go over here to another new button, the blackout button, and black out that shape. Now I'm ready to print this. Before I do that, I want to uncheck outline shapes and go to file print and I would print that just like any other any other item that I'm printing and I've already done that so I'm going to cancel out so so as not to waste any more time and I'm going to show you how we can tell where we're going to load that on the paper I went under print options under file the file menu and I'm going to click show paper on mat and click OK and now if I zoom this out a little bit you'll be able to see that it has put a bright blue outline where the 8.5 by 11 paper is going to be. That tells me two things, that my owl is all within it and it also shows me where to load the paper. So when I get the printout out of the, out of the machine, I'm going to put it on the mat with the edges exactly on the lines at the upper left hand corner. And when I do that, and I'm all ready to go, then I go to Project With, and in my case, Pro Provocraft Cricut. And I don't have my mat loaded, which is why it did that. But normally it would print, it would cut. And real quick, I can show you the results from the one I did earlier. There it is, right here. You can see what a wonderful job it did with that. Um, almost perfect without any kind of tweaking or anything. Your machine may be off a smidge one direction or the other and you can correct that by either uh, moving your graphic before you print it, moving the outline before you cut it, or moving the paper on the mat. But I didn't have to do any of that. I got an almost perfect outline the very first time. So I'm really excited about this and I hope you are too. Talk to you later.